Hey there guys, it's me, Barb, makeup free and not 93. It's been a long time since 93. But yes, this is me, my channel, me and myself and I, which is, uh, yeah, just a joke. My channel name, B Rex PR Goddess One. If you're new, thank you for trying me out as far as channel wise. If you like what you see, remember I do not own an upload schedule. So if you like, if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. So that ring will be subscribe and the notification bell. So that rings for you. If you're a return viewer, you've already probably done that. And I want to thank you for your continued patronage. Anyway, as I was going through and putting stuff away from prior videos I filmed today, I came across a box of stuff that I forgot to kind of talk about. So here we are. Yes, yes, we are. We're going to talk about some things. So this is all Amazon stuff. So let's start with... Um, this all came from Subscribe and Save, and I just forgot to talk about it. This scrub, which is the Aromatica Rosemary Scalp Scrub. It's a vegan formula, and it has a lovely little nozzle. So unlike those scrubs that come in a, two, a tub that you have to scoop it out and try and get it where you need, this one you literally just point and squeeze. So this is amazing, and it reminds me of the smell of the Rosemary Mint Aveda hair care line, which I really like the smell of it if you're into like an herbaceous kind of fresh green scent this stuff normally is $19 a tube I think I got it down to like 16 on subscribe and save and sometimes it goes down in price as normal so then the subscribe and save will go cheaper so I don't really remember under 19 bucks let's leave it at that then we did a refill of this guy yes this guy which is the stay matte from Rimmel London powder this is the shade deep beige now it's not a perfect match. It's drugstore, and it's not made for olive undertones, really, to be honest with you. Everything seems to skew just a sh tad bit pink, but it's close enough. Good enough for government work. So if you're just trying to take the shine off on a day where you're not going to have fancy pictures or anything, and you're just like, look, I'm just farting about. Just, just leave me be. For three bucks and change, that's not bad for three bucks. What else do we have in here? We also have dun, 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 House Beauty Labs. What do we got here? This is one of the lip crayons. This is Fire Me. These were all on sale for like five bucks. And there's one that I wanted that I didn't get right away. And then when I went back to add it, it went up to like $15. So this is kind of the shade. It's like a fiery color. If it wants to open. See? Can't wait to try it. If they were under 10 bucks, I let them go through. If they wound up coming up 11, 12 bucks, I definitely turned it off as far as like allowing it to show up. And then we have Glamour Puss, this guy. It's one of the liquid eyeshadows. I'm not huge on liquid eyeshadow, but I'm all about playing with it, is this shade. I just like the cases too, I'm not gonna lie. See, it's like a burgundy cranberry, very fall. Quick swipe of this and a little bit of line liner, some mascara, you're set if you're in a rush. So for makeup in a hurry. Then, this has been all the rage. The Revlon On The Go Oil Absorbing Roller, which is volcanic stone. It also comes with, because you can open up the ball area, take it out, clean it, reuse it. They come with a stainless steel ball, so on. This was about 16 bucks normally. I found it on eBay for 11 I think. And it comes with the case. So you get one refill ball of the stone and then one stainless steel for like an under eye depuffer and a little case to put it in. This is amazing. So stainless steel ball for cooling and depuffing, volcanic stone for absorbing excess oil on the skin. Both are reusable and easy to wash. Here's your little travel case. How do you not love this? Well, I also decided, you know, there's a lot of competition in that role thing and they make fake they make another brand so this one cost me i think 11 from 16 and this is some asian brand this one just says that when the color of the volcanic stone is changed from pink to dark brown and it becomes less absorbent recommend purchasing a new one the product is valid for 60 days if you use it three times daily you can use it about 100 times but it also says that you can rinse it lightly in tap water to clean it but, you know, I also know that this brand did have refills available in a similar case. Originally, they were $4.99. I put it in my cart, and I forgot about it for a week. It went up in price. And then now, oh, shut up. Comes with two refills anyway. Ha! So it just takes refills, and they're all the same refill. I mean, no offense. I'm going to be honest with you. 
they look the same, right? So there is that. This one's a little bit darker, like a clay. We'll see. Let's have a refill off, if you will. Now let's check these little puppies. Now this one has instructions inside. And this one has instructions. This one does not come with any refills. Please open. How do you open? Oh, you've got something sealing you. Well, shit. Well, I didn't think that through very well now, did I? Hold on. Let me get a knife. That went incredibly poorly. I was able to free one without damaging the little plastic case. The other, not so much. So we do have a rip. So I do not recommend the way that they package this, but I guess it makes sense if you want to keep someone from stealing it if this is in store. Um, like a retail purchase, you know, because people do crazy shit inside Targets and Walmarts and all that crazy shit. Okay, please, please exit. I'm not feeling this plastic at all. Go on, you. Can you be more stuck? I want to do a side-by-side. -side. I specifically did not wash my face yet to try and do this side-by-side -side take on this. Okay, let's, come on. Any day now, people. Bueller, Bueller. This is like fucking ridiculous. The other one came out easily. All right, let's side-by-side -side this shit because I'm getting really frustrated. Little motherfucker. Pardon my French. Don't pardon my French. I have no love for Revlon. Okay, so technically the cases are about the same size. They both have a lid. This one has air holes. This one does not. This brand X one, this brand right here is Beauty Specialties. I think I spent eight bucks on him, seven bucks. I could be wrong. That's what his stone looks like. And this is what the Revlon looks like. So there is a slight color difference. This is a larger stone. Both rattle the same in there. And they both tell you the same on how to unlock the base. So let us let us try to de-oil the nose, because we all know. Okay. You can tell we're getting oil already. It rolls a little funky. But I don't know if it's really just it. Let's try the forehead. Looks like a bit of a difference. I look less shiny over on this side. Mind you, again, this is last night's night cream. Is it my entire face? This thing is dark as balls. Let's try the other side. They both roll kind of funky. As far as a roller goes, they, they want to stay kind of stuck. You hear it? I'm not even like pressing off. I'm not pressing down. I'm just trying to glide it over. And why does it feel like this thing doesn't want to fucking roll? Okay, so they both suck it up the same. Let's try the tip of the nose. Once this one gets rolling, though, it seems to roll a little bit better, but it seems to take more to get it there. Let's see. It also seems to absorb less oil and look less gross right away. This one rolls a little smoother. It looks like there's a little more space in there. This one is a little more firmly packed. I will open them and wash them both and see how they dry. But I just had to try this out for you on screen, see? Dueling banjos. I kind of like the way this one feels a little bit better than this one, but this one's smaller. It looks like it'll get into those little folds around your nose that always get so friggin' oily, that are always so hard to even get a blotting sheet in, versus this one's a little larger. But as you can tell, this one's changed color big time. This one really hasn't. In the end, how does this bode? Let's see. Let's see how easy it is to change these things out as far as like opening them up. This guy has safety precautions. This is the, the knockoff as user guide. And it's in English. It tells you how to T roll, you know, roll on the T zone of your face and everything. So this is actually quite helpful. The ingredients, I'm sorry, ingredients, the instructions on this one, not as instruction, not as a, uh, 
helpful. Just says remove cap, gently roll volcanic stone along T-zone, forehead, and any other shiny areas. To clean, twist locking ring clockwise to unlock and remove stone. Wash with warm water and gentle soap. Rinse and allow it air dry overnight. So, here's my thing. You know, to wash this thing every night. And it said to do it clockwise to unlock. There we go. And this is how the underside looks of this guy. So I will wash him. I don't know how he pops out or doesn't because I'm assuming he's got to pop out more than this because, ah, uh, here we go. The ball's come in and out. So you still push down on the ball after you've unscrewed this and the whole top comes off. So the ball goes in, this goes in to secure it, and then this locks it. I'm gonna wash this tomorrow. I ain't got time for this shit tonight. I'm at work. This is my lunch break while I'm waiting for my uh, peanut butter to come to room temperature because somehow, some reason, it went in the fridge instead of not going in the fridge. And to lock it, you turn it the other way. You turn it counterclockwise, and then it snaps. Uh, let's see with this guy. Does it tell me which way? This one says this can be used 90 to 120 times if used three times a day. 30 to 40 days, depending on the level of it. Now, before using, when the stone changes color from pink to brown, we suggest buying or replacing as this will weaken the absorption. You can rinse it and leave it to dry. Out of direct sunlight, shady place. Okay, but does it tell me how to open this? This is supposed to not remove makeup when it takes, oh, and you roll it. Now, I didn't test it with makeup on. That'll be the next test. Okay, it does have cleaning and replacement instructions very clearly here. Unscrew the ring. Doesn't tell you if to go clockwise or counterclockwise. Oh, it does. It say go according to the unlock sign. So it has symbols. And then it's kind of the same thing. Push back, take out the ball, clean the ball, drop it back in, put your holder in, put it back in. So they're kind of similar. And then lock it. I mean, I'm not against one over the other. I just, I don't know. I just kind of feel like one is slightly better. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm the asshole. You know, that whole thing. So let's see what we can do to save these. And uh, I'll tell you how this goes. But in the meantime, you know, if you want to try it for yourself, you can get the cheapie for, like I said, six, seven, eight, maybe ten bucks. Some of them come with two, three, five refills. These do not come with any refills. So I don't know. You do you. And uh, hopefully you'll figure out a way that works well for you. And that will be that. I think I'm just going to put them back in the original boxes for now. Because let's just be honest, it's easier. And look, you know, put the little samples right in there. The new replacements and just pop it right back in this box. Much easier than the other one, which is a pain in the royal ass to get in and out of this thing. But I digress and I will... I am not feeling this fucking plastic again. <sighs> well, we'll see. Other than that, if you've tried this and you've had luck and you know how it works when, with as far as like with makeup and how easy it is to dry and wash and all that, please let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Other than that, peace out, ciao. Have a great night. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay warm, stay sheltered, and stay out of trouble.